Now, the Cary Salt Company, producer of the best in salt for every farm and home use, brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcibly to old and young alike that crime does not pay. In just a minute, today's exciting adventure will begin. But first, a word about salt, one of mankind's most precious possessions. In early times, salt was considered so valuable, it was used in place of money. But not even the rich man in those days had salt as fine as you can have every day just by asking for carry salt at your favorite store. It pays to get this modern salt. For carry salt is different. Carry salt is deep penetrating. Yes, sir, carry salt is different. Carry salt is deep penetrating. It always carries the flavor because it's extra refined. Goes deep down into the heart of food. Get carries tomorrow in the round white box with a bright red band, either iodized or plain. But now, the shadow. The shadow who aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, The Valley of Living Terror. Well, we made it, Margot. And just in time. Thank goodness, Lamont. I only hope our plane has enough gas to get us to the nearest landing field. Look down, Margot. The entire jungle village is covered with rubble and stone from the avalanche. It was nature's own way of wiping that horror from the face of the earth. Well, it has been a nightmare, hasn't it, darling? I never dreamed when we took a vacation in South America that we'd be flying down there to the jungles of Africa. Well, I couldn't refuse Alice Turner when she asked me to search for her missing David. After all, David Turner's one of the foremost scientists of our day. I suppose the fact that you just received your pilot's license and she furnished this plane had nothing to do with your decision. <laughs> well, shall I say it did influence me a little? <laughs> oh, Lamont, I never want to go through a thing like that again. That jungle valley down there, the heat. It was like the whole world closing in on us. Well, we're out of it, darling, both of us. Safe, high in the air. No. Oh. You are not safe, Mr. Cranston. Lamont, it's the native girl, Maria. She must have stowed away in our plane. Put down that revolver, Maria. I give orders now, Mr. Cranston. Get away from those controls. Are you crazy, Maria? We'll crash. I want plane to crash to kill you. And Miss Lane. Yes, and the shadow, too. Shadow? Yes, I know you are shadow, Mr. Cranston. Listen, Maria. If this plane crashes, you'll die, too. I have no more desire to live. Now my master, man I love, is dead. All I want is revenge. Step away from those controls or I will shoot Miss Lane first. <laughs> you would not like that, huh? Step away or I shoot. All right, Maria, I'll leave the controls, but only long enough to explain what a fool you are. Mark, the plane's getting out of control. Put down that gun and listen to me, Maria. You don't know the true story of what happened out I there. know the man I love was great scientist. You drove him to death. Man, you loved as a charlatan, an insane, stupid pretender, Maria. The mob was crashing toward the ground. Listen to me, Maria. I knew it was a fake the moment we talked to him. I knew it even from what you told us. We saw you there in the jungle clearing, watching our plane come to a land. Look, Lamont. There's a woman standing there in the jungle clearing, watching our plane land. Strange looking. Almost beautiful. Yes, I see, Margaret. I wonder what a girl like that could be doing in this horrible jungle valley. Well, come on, let's talk to her. Well, hello there. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Lamont Cranston. This is Margot Lane. We are searching for a great scientist, David Turner, an American. A reason to think he may be in this jungle. No. No, David Turner. No American here. No American here? Yet you learned to speak English? I went to a school. <laughs> You went to school, or did some American come here and teach you to speak our language? He is not here. Well, we won't mind if we search, then. Come on, darling. No! Don't move. Don't go near our village, or you will find this terror I know. I have seen. Obviously, David Turner is here. You wouldn't be trying to keep us away from the village. 
We've seen the natives out from the air. Very well. Everturner is here. Oh? But he is not in the village. Our home is an old castle. Just outside. You know what's that? That is the voice of the mountain. Look high above. His jungle valley. Those mountains, Lamont. They're like the gigantic faces of grinning old men. Yes, we have a legend here that says when the god of the mountains is angry, the great rocks will fall into the village and destroy all that is there. It's only a legend. No. It has happened once before. Is that the terror you've mentioned? No. The secret in the village is far more terrible than that. Now, will you take us to Mr. Turner, please? Very well. Follow me, Mr. Cranston, into the jungle. But remember, I warn you, I warn you of the terror that lies ahead. We're getting deeper and deeper into the jungle. Are you sure she knows where she's taking us? I heard you, Miss Lane. I know very well where I am taking you. I don't like this, Lamont. Easy, darling. We'll be there soon. It's as though the branches, the bushes, and trees were closing us in a prison, darling. What's that? Tropical bird, I guess. But it's so big. Yes. Bushes, the flowers, everything in this jungle seem extraordinarily big. This is a very fertile valley. All living things grow large here. Very large. We are here. What is this place? There's no castle here? No. And you will never see our castle. It's a trap. Yes. A graveyard for you. I leave you now. You will try to find your way out, but there is no escape. You will never find your way out of this jungle. Wait. Wait, Maria. She's gone. Where did she go? This way, I think, through these big bushes here. Ah! Lamont, it's her. Something's happened to her. Ah! Some animal or something horrible must be attacking us. It's coming toward us. It's not an animal. It's a man. Yes, Mr. Clancy. A man. Yes. Let me go. You are hurting my arm. Very well. Let this be a lesson, Maria. No more of that fix behind my back. It's a good thing I followed you. Please forgive little Maria. She's so uh, impulsive, shall we say. I am David Turner. You apparently overheard our conversation. Yes. You have come to take me home. Your wife, Alice, asked us to find you. My wife. Oh, yes. Dear Alice. She's well, I hope. Please, Mr. Turner, take us out of this jungle. Forgive me. The heat is bad if you're not accustomed to it. I will take you to my castle home. And let me assure you, no matter what Maria has said... Your presence here at this time is most welcome to me. Yes. Most welcome. Here are your rooms. The second floor of my castle. Oh, the heat seems to have followed us. Rest, Miss Lane. Stay in your room. Neither you nor Mr. Cranston are to leave until I need you. What do you mean by that? That we're prisoners? Oh, no. No, my guest, Mr. Cranston. But you are not to leave. What is it? What is this secret terror in the village Maria spoke of? Where are the other people? We four are the only humans living here. Look here, Turner. I don't know your game. We came here to take you back home. Instead, you shall stay here with me. What do you think you're going to do with us? Mr. Cranston... You wouldn't believe what I'm going to do. You have no idea how helpful you both will be in my work. <laughs> Come on, what's the matter with you? The great David Turner acts like a madman. He's not David Turner. What? 
The man's an imposter. First of all, Margot, he doesn't fit the description his sister Alice gave me. His sister? I thought you told Turner it was his wife. I did. I tricked him purposely, Margot. You saw how he readily agreed Alice was his wife? Diva Turner was never married. You've never seen a picture of this man we're looking for? No, it is one of his eccentricities. He hated cameras. But his sister Alice described him completely. But if this man isn't Turner, where could the real scientist be? He's here somewhere, dead or alive, or this man couldn't have known about him and taken his name. Margot, there's one place he might be. The village? Yes. Notice how carefully he and Maria both kept us away from the village? He said we were the only humans here. What could be living in the village, Lamar? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. He told us not to leave his room. You won't see me leave, Margot. Not Cranston, but the invisible shadow will visit the village tonight. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Lamont, what did the shadow find out? Tell me. You've got to tell me. All right, I'll tell you what I can, Margot. There were creatures. Living, crawling creatures. Giant creatures. Hundreds of them. Oh, how horrible, Lamont. How horrible. I think I know now why this man is keeping us here. Oh, no. Yes, Margot. Apparently, he's just been waiting for two human beings like us. So that he can go one step further in his terrible experiment. We'll return to the shadow in just a moment. But right now, it's winner's time again. Here are the winners in the Carry Saw Contest for the week ending September 20th. The beautiful $100 17-jewel Harmon Gold wristwatch goes to each of them. The latest wristwatch goes to Mrs. I.E. Green of 5739 Clemens, St. Louis. She suggests that Carrie's table salt be used to clean nursing bottle nipples. Just shake a few grains of Carrie salt into each nipple, she says. Add water and squeeze the solution through the small holes. Sounds like an easy answer that has been a vexing problem. And here's the suggestion that wins the man's watch. It's from Mr. Albert A. Aldrich of Amity, Missouri. He solved the problem of mites in his poultry house by spraying the house with a strong solution of water and Carrie's salt. The mites disappeared, and they haven't come back. Congratulations to both of the winners. And folks, if you want to win one of these beautiful watches, listen for the easy contest rules later in this program. Meanwhile, remember, there's a fine carry salt for every farm and home use. There's deep penetrating Carrie's table salt, Carrie's mineral supplement salt, Carrie's meat curing salt, and many others. Always look for the white bag, box, or cotton with a bright red band. But now, back to the shadow. Lamont Cranston, Margot Lane, searching a jungle valley for a missing scientist, have been taken prisoner by an imposter who claims he is the famous David Turner they seek. Cranston, as the shadow, has just discovered that the imposter is planning to use them as part of his terrible experiment. Lamont, we've got to get out of here. Now, yeah, Margot, just as soon as we can find the real David Turner. But Turner's probably dead, Lamont. This man wouldn't let him live. Perhaps, Margot. Perhaps he's hidden him somewhere in this old castle, kept a prisoner as we're kept. I'm going to this man. He wouldn't tell you anything. I know that, darling, but I think perhaps the shadow might frighten him into a confession. What? What is that? My 
My vows, my glorious Ming vows, fall on the floor. <laughs> the other vows fall on the floor. What trick is this? No wind to blow them off that mantle there. No wind, my friend, has touched them. Only the dead, invisible hand of a ghost. <laughs> Who laughed? Whose voice is that? Voice of David Turner speaks in the grave. Voice of David Turner, the man that you killed. I didn't. I didn't kill him. So you admit you're not David Turner after all. Very well. Very well. I admit it. But I didn't kill Turner. Where is he hidden then? Hmm, I won't tell. No one shall know until my experiments are completed. Experiments the real David Turner started? Is that why you followed him here? No. My experiments are different. Far more unusual than his. Why have you taken Turner's name? That is my cleverest trick. My experiments should fail. I shall disappear, leaving the real David Turner here to take the blame for the terror spread in this valley. David Turner is dead. You're lying to me. No, no, no. I'd be a fool to kill him. I've kept him alive. Had him watched over. Day and night. Had him watched over. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You just told the shadow what he came here to find out. <laughs> Quickly, darling, get me a pencil and paper from my bag. What did the shadow find out from that man? A way to find David Turner and the fact that he's still alive, Margot. It's patent Thank you, darling. How can you find him? Said he was keeping him watched over. There was another person in this castle who'd be here besides him to do that. Maria? Yes, Maria. She must know where he's kept. What, what's that head you're drawing? Picture of David Turner from the description his sister gave me. The shadow will take it to Maria to prove to her that this... The real scientist. You'll have to hurry, darling. Experiment, you mean? Yes. That madman might come back any minute. I'll be as fast as I can, darling. <laughs> Who is that? The shadow, Maria. Who are you? What do you want? You do as he bids. The shadow can save you, Maria. Save me? From what? The man you call your master. He's not David Turner, Maria. He's an imposter. He is David Turner. We have imposter locked up. No, Maria. The man you hold prisoner is David Turner, the real scientist. Look. Look upon this portrait. Huh? This is a picture of David Turner. Huh? Is he not the man you keep prisoner here? I don't know. I never see him. He's kept in dungeon still. There is only a small slot in the door where I push food through. Take this picture, Maria, and go to the one man who can help you. No. The man Cranston will prove this is the real David Turner. No, no, Take no. Cranston with you, Maria, to Turner's dungeon cell. No. Compare this picture with the face of the man you think insane. No. Then you'll discover your master is an imposter. <laughs> Right, Maria. Just the way to the dungeon cell. Yes, Mr. Crasson. Don't step to the castle, fellow. Come down then quickly. I have brought you here only to prove strange voice I heard spoke lie. Be careful with that panel, Maria. This dungeon floor is covered with straw. This is stone door. At least to the cell. It is little slot through which I give him food. Open the door, Maria. Where's the key? Door has no key. Only heavy bolts. Bring the candle inside the cell, Maria. There. Mad prisoner lying on the floor. Look, Maria. His face and at this picture here. Yes. You are right. Same man. It's unconscious. Wait, I'll carry him out. No! No, I don't let you expose men I love! Maria, come back in this cell with that candle! Maria! You trick me! Now I lock you in. You are the shadow, Graston. You trick me to bring you here. Wait, Maria! Ah! Here I push this straw through. Lock in the door. More and more and more. And put a candle flame to them. <laughs> you die, Mr. Graston! 
You'll burn alive and prove themselves with real stamina. World will never know my much child of faith. <laughs> Why doesn't the mom come back? This waiting is terrible. That experiment. I have a feeling that madman's going to walk in here any minute. I'm going to find him, Arthur. It's so dark out here in the hall. There's another door down there at the end of the corner. I shouldn't be doing this, I guess. I'm getting further and further away from my own room. If one of those creatures is behind that door. Honey, the door's not locked. There doesn't seem to be any... That right over there. Oh... Nothing but a patch of moonlight in that little window. I guess I'm letting my nerves get set. No, I don't think you are, Miss Lee. Who's that? Were you looking for someone? What are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. After all, this is my laboratory. Laboratory? I'll switch on the lights and you can see for yourself. When I heard you coming up the corridor. I took the liberty of cutting the light and waiting for you. Master, I cannot find her. Slain girl, not in her room. Oh, she very conveniently found the laboratory for herself. Just when we needed it. Where is Lamont? What have you done with him? You don't have to worry about Cranston. Right now, I think you should be more concerned with our little experiment. Experiment? Yes. Look, Miss Lane, over there in the corner, just to the left of the operating table. Cage? What's all this about? In that cage, you will see one of the inhabitants of our village, Miss May. I think you can already hear it. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. When I remove the cover from the cage. Now I undo the strap that holds the cover in place. And take the cover from the cage. And let you see what's inside. <gasps> Now, you know, Miss Lynn. Oh, that's what Lamont meant. Those creatures in the dark. Quickly, Maria. Prepare the instruments first for the time to... No, no, please. Listen. Thunder. Thornton God is angry. Wait, Maria, do as I tell you. No. Lightning in the sky. God of the mountain will destroy village as he did before, as he did when you found me, Master. One person left alive. Do as I say, Maria. No, 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 my no time to lose. I've frightened. Very well, you little fool. The experiment will be completed by me alone. Not this hideous experiment. The end of your world has come. The voice. The trick, Maria. The shadow again. It's Cranston. He won't stop us this time. No, Master. Couldn't be Cranston. He is dead and slain. It is God of the mountain. Yes, this is the voice of the mountain. Speaking in tones of thunder to you. You shall atone for your sin. No, I shall live. Live to create a new kind of race. Master! Lightning has struck the mountain. It is happening again. Another avalanche. Yes, the rock mountain is falling. And a thousand other rocks will come crashing down into the valley. Swept by the rain, wind, and storm. Wiping out forever your domain of sin and living terror. Our mountain is moving. Alive with falling rocks. Master, where are you going? Hey, my pets, my creatures, my life's work. No, Master, come back. You'll be killed out there. I'm coming to you, my creatures. I'm coming. That's the truth, story, Maria. I've told you everything. That's exactly the way it happened. Now will you put down that gun and listen to reason? Lamont, the plane is going to crash. I left you to burn alive in that cell. How did you escape? I saw you trying to lock me in that cell with David Turner. I became the shadow and slipped out with you. 
You only thought my voice was coming from inside the cell. I'm off the controls before we crash. Oh, down that gun, Maria. Let me save us all. Never. You will never tell the world my master was a madman and a fake. The world already knows the truth, Maria. Look, under this blanket. <laughs> A real David Turner. Yes, I dragged him out of that flaming cell with me and hid him here in my plane. Even if we crash, his body will be found. I've already told the authorities, sent the message over this plane radio. So, you have won after all. Do not grab her, don't Maria! Margot, you all right, darling? Yes, Ramon. Thank goodness you reached the controls in time to keep us from crashing. What about Maria, Margot? She's dead, Lamont. Oh, I'm sorry. We couldn't help her, darling. No, Margot. We couldn't have known that when she finally realized the truth about her master, he meant those bullets for herself and not for us. <laughs> Just a few minutes ago, you heard the names of two winners of gorgeous $100 17 2 Harmon Gold wristwatches. Yes, the Carry Salt Company is giving away two of these beautiful watches one man's watch and one lady's watch every week. Now listen closely. Here are the easy contest rules how you too may win. First, write 100 words or less describing some new or unusual way of using any Carry Salt product. Second, print your name and address on your entry. Third, mail to Carry's. C-A-R-E-Y-S, Carry Salt in Care of This Station. That's all. Nothing to buy, no box stops to send in. You can write about deep penetrating Carry's table salt or Carry's meat curing salt or any other Carry Salt product. Letters postmarked before midnight Friday will be judged in this week's contest and the winners will be announced three weeks from today. The judges' decisions are final. All letters become Carry's property. In case of tie, duplicate prizes will be awarded. Remember, the man and woman who write the most interesting letters describing some new and unusual way of using Terry Salt products will each win a gorgeous watch. The address again, Terry Salt in care of this station. Mail your letter today. This story is copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications, Incorporated. The characters, names, places, and plot are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again next week, the shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow does. <laughs> next week, same time, same station, the Carry Salt Company brings you another strange and thrilling adventure in the shadow's daring battle against the forces of evil. Remember, there's a carry song for every farm and home use. Look for the package with a bright red band. And don't forget Carrie's exciting new contest with two beautiful $100 Harmon gold wristwatches given away every week. Mail your entry now to Carrie Salt in care of this station.